<laughs> you, you are? So you've come round to make us a brew? That's nice, isn't it? Your hair's looking nice today. Thanks. Go make us a brew then. Right, so today what we're doing is we're cracking on and we're going to actually sort the garage out. So what we're going to do is strip everything out of it. Once we've got everything out of it, I'll explain what we're going to do because we're changing the back of the truck and changing the layout a bit to make life easier for when we go racing. Got Kevin here to help out. Sam's here rocking his new t-shirt, Colin 1990. And then we've got them. And we've got, and we've got, yeah, yeah, maybe. And we've got the main man here with his tape measure. Let's have a look at tape measure. Are you ready to do some graph? Let's Kev's doing a mint job as normal. Oh, 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 busted. Yeah. busted. Absolutely busted. There's been some... What do you reckon? It's quite tiring. What do you reckon is that, Sam? Mm. A bit bodgy, that Kev. Oh, the question is, isn't it? I don't even think he wants to be a joiner anymore. Nah. A lick of paint, he'd be all right. Fine. But we can't get into the garage now if we lock ourselves out. Okay, let's make another roll. Right, Kev's done a mint job, <laughs> got that fixed from where we damaged it in 2019, wasn't it, Kev? It was. It was, yeah. So we've got that done, got that fixed, well, we, the royal we, again, I'm saying the royal we. Yeah. Did you, Main did man, you yeah. do that? Main man. No, who did it? Him. Did he, him. <laughs> did him, him do a good job? Did you do a good job? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's done. So Kev's going to start making the cabin tree for the size now. We've got USB board. Did I say cabinetry? Yeah, Did that a cabinetry? Oh, it's it's a a hey, don't be so picking on me. I'm a normal. I'm sorting it out on the editing later, doesn't it? If I remind you now. Well, the cabin, cabinetry. The cabinet. <laughs> oh my. Kev's going to sort the cabinet out, right? It's up there. We've got the USB board, right? Because the USB board is so much cheaper than ply board. Since lockdowns happened, <laughs> OSB board, honestly, I know the stuff as well. Right, forget about OSB, right, that board there, the OSB oh, no, board, right? Oh, micro USB, yeah? Yeah, micro USB, USB. That, that's probably what I was thinking about, what an idiot. So the OS OSB board is going to be made into a cabinet to suit there. This will, we're going to be covering it with something, whether we're doing a carpet or what we're doing inside, we're not 100% sure. I was going to rapture it. But Raptor mm -hmm. will collect all the dust and the muck and won't be able to just keep it clean. So Kev will start building the cabinet now. Why well, I mean Sam go and do some work in the garage. Thanks Kev. Time lapse away. Let's do it. <laughs> Crack on! Honestly, I get all my words wrong, <laughs> don't I? All the time. Talk some about new fancy USB wood. Yeah. USB wood, I'll sell you some. <laughs> Cheap. What are you laughing at? You're laughing at me. You're laughing at me. So you're laughing with him. Are you laughing with me? What's behind Gary's 33? Or is it 23? 23, isn't it? Is it Disco Dave? Dave Disco Dave's Dave. in the rave, isn't he? <laughs> right. The reason it's so funny is that's because what he calls Grandad as well. Disco 23? Dave, 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 Dave the rave. rave. <laughs> what do we say when we're going to get cracked on? Crack on. Crack on. You be careful with that, Sam. We've got an LED light on. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? New iPhone 17. <laughs> Can I help you, please? <laughs> you know what you're doing, mate? Not a clue. Not a Scooby Doo. Not a bag of glue. Not a Scooby Doo, just winging it. Look at him, he's knocked them over now, look. Oh. Uptown Thun. Listen here, right? We don't just eat biscuits. We've got a brew here and we've got some oranges because we like to eat fruit now and then, don't we, Kev? Oh yeah, we're fruity, baby. Are <laughs> you fruity? We're fruity. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, Kev's getting smashed on with it. So that will have a hole cut into there and the spare wheel of the wagon will fit there. Just in there. Just like that. Just like that. And it's just practical ideas to make our life so much easier when we go away racing. So when it comes to packing up and stuff, because we will put the door eventually when we've looked, well, we're going to get the prices of the door from ADAOS boxes where he works, so we'll be a door where Kev's kindly. Look, he's like my beautiful assistant. That's it, Kev, look at that. <laughs> That's perfect. So yeah, so then the lockers will go in the side and then the big awning that we've got there, the frame of the awning, will slide up along the top. He knows what he's doing. He's shaking, is it? You do know what you're doing, don't you? Uh, 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 uh. What? No. No? You don't know. You don't know. No. It's a nice little coffee table, if anything, isn't it? To have your brews. Yeah, lovely. Lovely yeah. jubbly. Afternoon snack. And we like an afternoon snack. Yeah, it was 60 yesterday, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> Big six all. Yeah. We played past the parcel. <laughs> Musical chairs. Musical chairs, yeah. We need some one. new chairs. That's that's true. If there's any camping companies watching or out like that, want to sponsor us some nice chairs when we go racing, you can get your logo on there. Send us some chairs. If you want to know, there's an email down below for business inquiries. <laughs> See, we can't even drink out of our own shine automotive cups because we can't afford them. Can't afford to buy one no. of them. What's that say? <laughs> so I've just had a look in the top shed and I found some of the white plastic boarding I need and a full piece of trim. Now they're a little bit bent and twisted from time but I don't care because they'll screw in and they'll straighten up. I've got that edging trim so I can finish finish the roofing off like we did up here under that bit there so hopefully I get a trim bit down there trim bit along here trim bit up there missing out that corner because Kev's going to make a nice box or I'll make a nice box see how daring I feel and then this will be finished off with aluminium angle this bit so that'll hide that bit so I'll jump into it now and I'm going to have a go at boarding all this while Kev's continuing doing this So after all our talking and plans, now we have a game plan and we know what we're doing. Yeah. And yeah, that's why we've got Sorry. everything and put everything up there. Because if we didn't, we would have forgot about the bag that have the sides for the awnings in. So Kev's going to cut that down and we can trim that off. Hopefully John will turn up with some alley today, but I doubt that very much. So he's going to lift that awning down with his teeth. I haven't got any. <laughs>
was dead space in there, so we've got somewhere for the jacks and the bottle jacks to live. They'll just slide under there. So yeah, I think that'll wrap it up for today. It's mega, things are getting organized now, which we need, so we're not just chucking everything all over the place. So yeah, happy days. I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna box that corner. And I generally think if I stick that on a time lapse, that'll be proper boring, because it's just an angle. So what I'm gonna use is this trusty hand. For some reason, this has become really, really good but I don't like using it all the time. So we'll box that bit in, right? Wow, look at that. No more wires. I've boxed it in, but I've used a bit of the old caravan for all the bits that we used in the interior, which you see in the first episode. And pop that open there, and that gets us to the wires if we ever need access, because there's a few wires still to sort out. That's another thing done in the garage. It's like a proper factory in here today, getting all the t-shirts ready. All the t-shirts come with a spree sticker. We've just written on the back of the sticker what they are on the back, so not my job, not my problems on the back of that one. Fishies, do you want to buy one? We're buzzing. All coming in nice packaging as well. We've got nice gift bags as well that they'll come in the posting. The only thing is me and Sam aren't very photogenic, so but we are taking pictures of them to go on the merch store. So they're on the merch store now. Right then, right then, right then. My carpet's arrived and my spray glue and some rubber. I'm gonna put rubber in some of the outside lockers and I'm gonna put some rubber along the top. So where the gazebo goes up there, I'm gonna line it out with rubber inside. That mattress is stuck up there because I sent a picture to Nathan winding him up saying that's his new bed when we go racing. Look at the headroom. Loads of room up there. So yeah, I think what I'll start doing now is I'm going to edge this bit of carpet and get these bits of carpet sorted out. Somebody said in the last video in one of the comments, we talk too much. I don't know what to do. I might just be boring. Today, we are going to put the carpet down. Let's do that now. Let's waffle. We like a good waffle. If you like a waffle, I, not eating waffles. Mind you, I like eating waffles as well. If you think we talk too much, just drop a comment down below and let me know. And I'm still going to waffle anyway, because I'm the king of waffling. Let's crack on. So I've got it unwrapped. This is the stuff that I bought. I bought it from Amazon. So if you want to know where to get it from, I'll put a link down below where you can go and buy it through my link. So I'm going to have to unroll it, because it won't go that way. I'm going to unroll it, measure it out. I don't know whether to have it where it curves up the side before I put the trim on. I was going to put carpet around the side, but if I can get that to curve up there, I think that'll look good like that. So I'll get it cut down. It's just going to start finishing it off now. Good, practical, organised storage. That's how we're working this out. This episode is all about organisation and storage. Very, very nice. Let's crack on! Yeah, so it has curved up and gone up the walls okay. I've got to trim this back when it's fully cured. But if you see, I've got this bit of angle. I'm going to run the angle along. So that angle will go along like that. So that, if I can get myself twisted, get a bit of rubber twisted back and then get that glued on there. And that is what you're going to look, well, that's what it's going to look like. I'm gonna start using my own made up words then. So yeah, it's looking mega, really good. Right, let's go with the next bit. I'm gonna have a brew. It's like a sweat box in here. I don't even know if I have a brew. I might have a like, cold drink. I might have a beer, because it's the end of the day. So yeah, that's uh, gonna glue well. I'm just gonna rub it down so much. You gotta be really quick with this. Adhesive on both sides. Um, but I just set on doing the one side and then the two sides. So I know that was straight, so it was easy to pull back and then put it on both sides. And then you're not messing around. And you've got a nice finish. Very nice, very nice indeed. Right, I've just got it trimmed off. Um, the reason why I didn't put on a time lapse, uh, uh, I've got no top on because it is sweltering. It's gonna look awesome. 
for a garage. Practical ideas. Practical ideas coming from you from Shine. Coming to you from Shine or whatever. I just want to get up there and have a lie down. There we go, that bit's done. That's taken some doing that. That was probably a long time lapse. Gonna have to go through a fair few Stanley blades, but I just didn't want to cut it too short. And I can just stretch things over. And obviously that's gonna have angle around there. It's really, really good to use. You just gotta take your time, stretch it, pull it, then you have plenty of wrinkles up here. So then when that's, you know, you imagine when that's gonna have that angle along there, how good that is gonna look. Loads to do before this video comes out Sunday. It's Friday tomorrow. Man, I've got tons to do. I don't want this video finished. I'm just watching where I wanna fall. I look tired, that is not your mat. We've got a bit of a shop in the office, right? And I've had this on the shelf for donkeys. And it was probably in another car place before I had it on the shelf for donkeys. Who is ever gonna wanna buy a spare wheel cover? And then I just thought, hang on, wagon wheel. Can I get a wagon wheel in that? That'll tidy that up. Buzzy and I was thinking, what am I going to do with that? So yes, sorted. That was like stretching, stretch Armstrong, but it fits and it looks wicked. Happy days. left that piece of wood exposed because i think what would be better is when i get the angle it'll give it some more to adhere to and i put that piece of angle in there and then come across there i think yeah i think that's really the right thing to do <laughs> believe that spare wheel cover I had so we're getting on but now I am done I'm gonna get finished up tomorrow with the carpet and then get all this stuff tidied up and get ready to put the checker plate down sort the winch out sort the lights out happy days see you tomorrow another day another day I'm gonna sort the top of the roof out now then the garage door out I'm gonna insulate it with some insulation I've got loads of bits like that I'm gonna glue in and then I'm gonna carpet it and I was gonna ply board it but I'm hoping that I can get this right so Let's see, let's get it done now. Like I say, I wasn't filming this, right? But that, honestly, for it's just gone on the polystyrene. I don't think it's bad. I've got a couple of things to rub out on it, but I only pieced it in with loads of bits of polystyrene like that. So, I mean, look at that. You see the framework, which I knew I was gonna get. I just keep pulling it and pulling it tight. For a garage back door, that's nice. Listen to, shh, I'm filming, Bella. Listening to Danny Howard, please open. Do me, that'll ding dang do. Yeah, boy, that's looking proper pucker. I haven't a clue. The door is one of the doors has turned up that we're just trying to see if we can get to work to get the lockers in. Kev's just scratching his head, so I'm gonna leave him. Normally, I scratch his head, <laughs> so I'll just let him work out what we're doing, see if he's gonna make the cut. <laughs> Right, so I've got the carpet rolled out and I'm going to stick it on a time-lapse now and I'm going to start carpeting the back. So yeah, 
Let's crack on. Kev's got his bit of checker plate down and he's coming along now for his skirting board. So he's doing nice. Managed to get that bit of checker plate screwed down there because I think we missed when we pop riveted on about three years ago. So he's got, he's got it finished. He's got it butted down. And then he'll bring that trim along there. And then when I carpet this sidewall, I've got something to go to to just lose it down. Because we're just going to glue glue the rest of them on with some adhesive. <laughs> yeah. Right, it's my bum. I'm not, I'm not touching your bum. That's, good. that's a bit too much, Kev. <laughs> right, let's go on to the time lapse. What do you want to see? Carpet or Kev's doing his checker plate? Carpet. to that just got to heat it up and rub it, rub it on but when that trim there that looks absolutely wicked don't you think don't you think that looks wicked i think it looks really good anyway i'll crack on with the next bit because as you can tell by now that that wall isn't going to be carpeted i'm going to sit on and do that wall now it's coming together now neat and organized That's been a nightmare to do. Getting the bits to line up. On the actual car itself, we had a bit of a prank, so the wing never sat right, and that's been throwing me out for ages. But getting that to go on there like that, so much easier to work down. But I'm not a rapper, I don't do it for a living. So, got that other bit to go. Kev's on with putting all these angles in now. Putting them angles in, gluing them. Them so that finishes it up our floors. I think he's starting to prep to glue the door on. He's gluing the new side exit door on. I'll continue with doing that wrap and then I'll see what I'm going to do with the rest of it. Because it's Saturday today and this video is going out tomorrow. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Right, as I say, let's crack on. You, you are? <laughs> so you've come round to make us a brew? Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Your hair's looking nice today. Thank you. Thanks. Go make us a brew then. <laughs> you might need to do a bit of cleaning while you're here. I need to use you. Let's crack on. It's not my job. Not my problem. Well, he's fitted that now. That door, we've got it all gluing in place with the clamps and then there'll be a bit of that J mould. Right, that's on top of there that stopped the water running in. So if you've done bad in driving, what have you got to do? Put a bit of that on. If you've done bad in driving, is that your sin bin? That's your sin bin, yeah. Right, I see, yeah. I get it. Anyone that's been naughty, in, in there, there and that's sound. it. Oh, you've got a bit of J mould. Yeah. Thank you. Up. Adam sorted us out again with a good deal. Thank you very much. Not that he watches the videos, but there'll be a link down below to AJ House Boxes. Look at that. Your boy, your boy, what bow. It looks proper good. I hear the footsteps. Oh. Is this our brew coming? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, you making Thank some you. brews today, Tiv. Thanks. There we go. Oh, you can pass me my brew if you want. <laughs> yeah, come on. Why? What do you reckon to the uh, the side of the, the, the locker? Great. Is that great? Mm -hmm. It's nice, isn't it? Not the side of locker, the side of wagon. <laughs> that sexy dude like driving it as well. Where? In the there, look. No, I agree. Wearing, I've got new glasses. It's nearly. It's, ooh, oh, 
that's not very nice, is it? Right, we're gonna have a brew, and then I think Kev's gonna put this bit of flooring down, and I think he'll just remove a bit of the sticker at the bottom so he can bond it. No, you would. That's your job. No, that's not my job. No, 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 no. I'm the sticker man. You're the gluing man. So if there's sticker in your way, you've got to remove it. Did you remove bits of excess carpet on there? Did you not? Did you not remove excess carpet to glue them on? So you did. So you can remove the sticker because I put that carpet on. <laughs> what are they? Uh, biscuits. Did you make them yourself? No, the thing my best friend's done a bake sale to raise money for the hospital. Did you, did, did you buy them? That was nice, that. So you've done your bit for charity today. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's really nice. <laughs> That's really. You're looking very tan, mate. Yeah. Your ginger hair's looking well. It's all right, pal. All right. Oh, that's good. Tiv might give us a hand cleaning up the ceiling as well. She might do. She's just sat there having a brew. Two ginger people chilling out. Are you warm? Yeah. Are you warm? You need to make sure you've got suntan lotion on because you, you'll burn. So I'm going to move the spare wheel out. Safety first, and then I'm going to put the bit of wrap that I've got there. I'm changing it around now because Chris Pryor has nicely sent me another one of them. So I'm going to put that one along there. And then the bit that was for the sidewall originally should swoop round and go in there. So I'll put a link down below where you can get your uh, stickers from made by Chris Pryor Graphics. He's done all these for me in a massive time. He helps us out loads. His missus has done these tops as well. So they do tops, printed tops. So yeah, I'll crack on, get on. This is looking sick. Look at that, it's like me. There's me and then there's me. What's going on? Me and me in a life-size car in the back of the car. What in the back of the truck? What is going on? So let's crack on. And let's get this bit sorted out right now. Now Chris sent another one of them out. So what I've done is I've put that across there. I know there's a bit of a difference in, in detailing up there, but I don't mind because there was another two panels for there and I was going on the side of the panel that we're going to put there for the tables to slide in. But I think it's going to look better to put in there. So I've cut it down to shape. It's not going to get the full logo, but I think it's going to look quite sick in there. And then I'll build, if I've got time, because obviously it's getting late now, it's Saturday night and I've got to get this video out tomorrow. If I've got time, I'll make the thing for the table to slide in there. If not, I'll just trim it back for the time being. But I think that looks awesome. Proper looks awesome. Oh, this carpet on there. Hello, bells. Ah, and I've got all these to glue on. These side trims, I'll get them glued on. Run all the stickers behind to get them glued on down there. And probably have to carpet the side of that and maybe the side of that, but I'll see if I'll jump on and do that back bit now and then get a bit of a tidy up. Kev's got the checker plate floor down that John kindly cut for us. It's looking good now. I'll jump on and get that back wall done.
anyway, it's getting late now. That was hard work because it's actually onto ply bar. I'm just gonna have to get a piece now to piece into there because obviously these originally were meant for that side. I still think it's better than carpet. I know I've pieced a bit in there, but it's come round. I've took the cupboard door off and done the cupboard door. If you think I should carp it, let me know. If it get loads of people to say that's rubbish, that bit, you should carp it that back bit. I'll carp it that back bit. Oh, it's late now, like I think I have no idea what time it is. Right, that angle's gluing, clamped in on there. We've got adhesive and self-adhesive strips on there. So that's all tied in really nice in there. Using the bottle jack and that, so I'll leave that overnight. It's not gonna happen this video. Well, it is gonna happen. I'm gonna stop, get that bit glued up, and in the morning, tidy it up, get some videos of it finished, and then I will do the fastest edit in the world. So all that trim's on there, clamped on. These are only just on, they're not hard on, hard on, that doesn't sound right. They're only just clipped on, so yeah, I'm buzzing with it. The checker plate's all down, that corner's all done, that aluminium's done, that strip in there, and then bits around there and that fireboard. I know that pasted in, but you know, you don't really notice it, and that handsome man in that car, look at that handsome man. Hey. It looks awesome. I've got the lights working. I've got some more lights to put up as well, but that's looking that's looking wicked. That is looking wicked. <laughs> yeah, I've just looked at me watch on my phone and it is oh past ten. Oh past ten, but I need to get these glued on. And work out how to do it. I might just get right loads of glue on the back side and get up tight with that double sided tape. It's good enough for that light. Like, it's not a high traffic area at all that bit, so yeah boy, let's just do it. bits are on now they're gluing i'm having to talk quiet because of the neighbors you've got neighbors up there look 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 not neighbors will be fast asleep aren't they so yeah that's the checker plate glued up the top so what i'm going to do in the morning is have a quick tidy round sort these shuts out just get them done in satin black just to make it look better tidy up give the checker plate a little clean down sort that bit of carpet out there Ooh. i'm not even stopping the camper tonight and not go on so i'm just jumping in the shower and stop here because can't be able to tidy up i bring the tools in obviously but there's just junk everywhere and the weather's meant to be red hot tomorrow yeah get squared away in the morning get it tidied up and put a few bits back together and then we can do some a few cinematics of it finished but it looks sick looks proper sick chris Pryor, you are amazing what you can design and the ideas that you come up for all this is proper good and it's everything's got place now storage the locker's done for the side locker we've got access to get into the back if we ever have an issue with the tailgate we're not opening but i definitely want this video out for you a lot to watch and if you've got this far in the video let me know what you think to this because it looks awesome but well, it's so early the plywood on there I should have got some proper smooth, something smooth because it's just, it's sunk in, it doesn't look as good and as flat as like all the top with the GRP board, you can see. I don't know what to do. Do you think I should cap it for now or do you think I should reboard it and get Chris to print me another sticker out? Let me know. Right, I better put some clothes on because I'm in my duds. <laughs> Let me get this uh, video finished, let's do it. So I have made the, the decision that I'm gonna carpet that back well because it absolutely looks dog crap with the natural light smashing on it. She's been chatting with Chris Pryor about it as well. Yes, yeah, so that looks good that. Right, so there's a link down below, like I said, for Chris Pryor, but go check his Instagram out because there's absolutely tons of stuff on there you can have a look at. So yeah, all right, let's get on. We've got to get this truck ready. Right, so um, what we've got on on the back, um, I've seen um, quite a lot. I ain't got enough checker plate and I need to cut that into three, three inch strips 
to marry that to come along there and to come down there and that'll do because that's where the tables will go but i'm running out of time now so i'm just going to leave that there well that's it i've run out of time now it's nearly lunch that gives me about seven hours to get a video made uploaded for you guys Like that that's it mega if you like it drop a comment down below thanks for watching i've been colin you know who all the boys are and we'll see you in the next one i'm gonna make a brew get straight in the office and edit this i've probably said that about 15 times but there we go right we'll see you next weekend next weekend it's really 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 important next weekend there is a tt and a fiesta getting mated together for the first time don't miss that one and then the week after that we're going racing so We've got a racing prep video that I've already done. It's quite funny. So we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We've got plenty of content. Go buy some t-shirts. They're all in stock because um, it helps build. See you in the next one. Bye now. That's not your bed. Oh, my God. What a mess I have made. What an absolute mess. And Bella's found a new rug. Get out the sun, you, Bella. It's too hot. So we're getting ready for qualifying. We've got the car in the garage. I'm setting up the timing. So we'll let you know we're doing qualifying shortly. Love you. Wayne, Wayne says love you. My hole is glorious. <laughs>